G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines and we have got a treat for you today. I'm with Stubb Stones Quarter Marines Troy Wegner and he has put together the ultimate bar crusher boat. It's the 780 hardtop, it's sitting on an easy tow galvanised trailer and it's powered by the Wicked Yamaha 300 horsepower four stroke motor. And we're going to take you on a bit of a tour of this boat today. Then we're going to drop it in and see how it goes on the water. We've got a bit of a bit of a nasty day today, Troy. There might be we might be able to find some rough water out there, no, won't we? Should be good for it, Steve. Looking so forward to it. This boat here comes in at around the hundred and sixty thousand dollar mark. But what I want to do is have a chat about you know why it's such a good hull and why this is sort of going to be the last boat that you ever buy rather than the first boat that you buy. So. Um, Let's start about the bar crusher theory. There, there, this is a self-draining hull, mm -hmm. um, seven point eight meters long, but it's built with the yeah, with um, bar crusher's ballast system in there. Take us through what it does and how it makes your day underwater better. Yeah, so Steve, the the ballast system really only works when you're at rest. Okay, when you stop, the hull floods with water. It holds about three to four hundred liters of water. So uh, weight, you're looking at three to 400 kilos yep. of, of water. So what that does, that sinks the hull down onto your reverse chines and in, in turn gives you extra stability at rest. Yeah, and, that, and when you go, the big hole at the back, and you'll see that in the cutaways now, the water all just falls out the hole and you're not dragging that 400 uh, kilograms of water around with you, are you? No, absolutely. Your, your escape point for your air is in your anchor well. So when you take off, as soon as you do, that water starts pouring out of the, the back. It generally takes about three to four seconds to drain. Now, the, the Bar Crusher boat, they're, they're known all for a couple of things, for their toughness of build, and you can see this thing, it's it's made, what's the thickness of aluminium on the hull and the sides? Uh, you've got five mil plate bottom and four mil plate sides. Yep. Yeah. And the other thing it's noted for is that is that stability at rest. So this is a 2.45 metre wide boat. Mm -hmm. With that system of pulling it down, it's it's quite stable at, when yeah. you want to fish. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see that, that later, just how stable it is. Yep. Now, this thing's toted around on uh, on the Australian-built Easy Tow Twin Axle Trailer. Um, it's around two and a half tonne dry, you say, when you're, yep. when you're driving it around. So you do need um, a boat, that, a trailer that'll, that'll tow it around safely, but can also do it behind your standard twin cab unit. And we're towing this behind a Ford Ranger at the moment. Any of those twin cabs will tow in that range, will they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The good thing about the Bar Crusher, Steve, is they're generally lighter uh, for the size boat that they are. So you can get away with towing it with a standard dual cab. Now, I noticed that this uh, this rig's got the bar catch system on it, which means that if you're going to go out solo in this boat, you can launch and retrieve by yourself, can't you? Yeah, yeah, and we'll see that, that later, just how easy it is to launch and retrieve on your own. Uh, for such a big boat, that's pretty impressive. Now, this boat here, it's, it's set up as if it was like, you know, James and the guys at Stades Corner there, they put together their ultimate uh, package and they put some fruit on it. So I noticed there's the 12-inch Garmin here that's got a radar attached to mm -hmm. it. Um, run through some of the other extras that we've got on the console here. Yeah, so what we've got on the console, obviously, the 1222 uh, XSV Garmin. This is the new Yamaha CL7 gauge, which we'll, we'll show you soon. That's also a touch screen and it's linked to the Garmin. So you're able to run your GPS on one and your sounder on, uh, on the other once you're fishing or looking around for your spots where you don't want yep. uh, your motor data on it. So that's a that's a good feature on this hull. Uh, we've got our stress-free anchor winch. Because uh, no one wants to pull up an anchor for a 7 no, meter boat. Not, not for a boat <laughs> this big, it's a heavy anchor. So yep. uh, We've got our windscreen wiper with a washer, so it's easy to, to clean. You don't have to get out and pour fresh water over it to be able to see on your way home after a big day's fishing. Um, we've got our switches for our rear spotlights, which we'll, we'll see. We've also got one facing forward as well, so when you're coming in at night and you may not have flashing markers, you can still see them safely. Now, what about the uh, the deck wash? It's a fresh and salt water deck wash as we well. Do. We do. We have two deck washes, a, a 60 litre fresh water holding tank uh, with, with hose and uh, the salt water deck wash as well. Now, tell us about the cabin. Mm -hmm. the, for me, it's it's... Great because it's secure. Like mm. you can go away and it's lockable and it's fully stowed and you've got some upgrades in there. Tell us about those. Yeah, we do. So um, we've got the fabric fabric bunk cushions. So it is nice and comfortable to lay on. You don't have to worry about putting something over yeah, vinyl. Yeah, it's not vinyl. Yep. It's nice and comfortable. Um, we've also got a macerator toilet in under the front. So if you're, you're out with the family, yep. you know, you don't have that bit of privacy with the lockable hatch as well. Um, and the door, yeah. So the lockable hatch... 
store fishing gear if you're going away for the weekend or whatever, put it in there, lock it, and it's secure. That's right. You don't have to worry about juggling the gear to the car and back. That's a really good yeah. feature for me. The the hard top itself, um, in a Queensland climate, we like those front opening side windows. They let mm. the air circulate in the cabin. Of course, we have them all locked up when it's uh, when it's real nasty, mm. but on a sultry Queensland day, you can get the airflow going well with those, can't you? Yeah, yeah. It just keeps the cab nice and, co nice and cool when you have that flow through. Now, when I've tested bar crusher boats recently, they, they've recently done an upgrade on this hard top, and, they, and they've got it designed so that if you do cop a lot of water on the front, it actually drains away and doesn't end up back in the cabin. Tell yep. us about that. Yeah, so they've re just recently, they've enclosed the hard top. So before it used to be a single plate roof. Now it's an enclosed section and you'll see underneath is all sealed off. Um, the water hits the t if it does hit the top, it go it yeah, falls it's away. Yeah, it's to, to fall yeah, away. It and, falls away. And they use it to mount, of course, all of the radios, fusion system, anything that you need. Yep. Uses this space wisely now as well. Yeah, correct. So your VHF and 27 meg, that comes standard from the factory. Uh, we've added a, a fusion Bluetooth. AM FM radio as well, which is all mounted nice and nice and neat up the top. Now we are sitting in the world's most comfortable boating <laughs> seats I notice here, but the bases of the seats too are wise. Like you can put you can put tackle in it. This mm -hmm. one's got an angle underneath. Yep. Um, I think the storage is very clever in this boat. Yeah, absolutely. You've, you've also got general storage under this side, so there's no no shortage of storage. You know, when you're taking into consideration your side pockets as well, and even up in the cab. Now, standard fuel tank in this rig is 330 litres, but this one's upgraded to 500 litres, and that's at the expense of an underfloor kill tank, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, you know, generally someone that wants a boat this sort of size wants range. You know, range. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with the 500 litre fuel tank, they have that. Um, still get good fuel economy with the 300 on this, so your range is yeah. going to be at an optimum. And we'll be able to do those calculations. We're going to come back to you with those calculations in the second half of this test. Um, continuing moving back, um, I love the little uh, the little mobile slideable rod holder in the side that helps you tote the tackle around from, mm -hmm. you know, from home to ramp. And I also love the fact that you, that, that back bench seat, it's built for business, not pleasure, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's low, and you can stand on it when you're getting into the boat. You don't have to worry about, um, about standing on cushions mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. But take us through the bait station in the back as well. Like Queenslanders, um, two things they're not really used to, uh, quality bait stations and anchor winches. Yeah, you know, and this yeah. has got both of them. So run through the bait station down yeah. the back in the live, live bait tank. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a nice large bait board. There's nothing worse than having a small annoying one where you're, you're looking for room. Um, it's got storage underneath the, the bait board. You've got rod holders along the top as well as cup holders in it. So there's, there's a place for everything. Yep. Um, and it's it's big enough that two people can stand at it quite comfortably. That's right. And then your live baits, you've got the uh, clear top live bait uh, yeah, tank there. Yeah, you've got the, the, the clear top. It's a nice large bait tank, so you can fill it with the day's worth of, of live bait and, and still have plenty of, of water there. So Now, getting on this boat, I noticed was pretty easy because you've got the uh, the transom door and the fold-down steps. Yeah, so we've, we've got an extra rung ladder on this one being that it's it's got the trailer upgrade we thought the extra rung ladder would just make it easy to get in and out um, and yeah you open transom door as well as using that seat for a step to get in it's very easy to now before we uh, let, let's talk about price this mm -hmm. one has got a fair bit of fruit on it what is it going to cost me to walk into Stoner's Corner Marina and drive this away <laughs> drive this away you'd be looking at 165,000 165,000 yeah. and packages start from if you wanted to, to a lower spec motor and, and none of the gear what do they start yeah, from yeah look with the 780 you're, you're looking around that 145 150 sort of mark yep. um, as we said this one's quite spec'd up so yep. it's at the other end of the spectrum well they are a fantastic looking boat uh, the thing we want to find out next is other a fantastic performing boat out on some rough water. So we're going to put this thing in and go and see how she goes on Morton Bay.
Well, there you go. You, they say there's no truer test of a boat than when it gets out in rough conditions and at uh, 15 to 25 knots out the front of Cleveland Point today, it definitely was rough. We knew how rough it was because we were in a five and a half metre camera boat getting soaked and getting beaten up. But the 7.8 metre bar crusher hardtop handled it all with ease. Um, Troy in this boat didn't get a drop on him. We all got reasonably soaked. Um, but that's what you get for a $160,000 plus boat. You get the hard top which keeps you dry. You get a fantastic fishing platform and you get some of the, the modern luxuries that the family will enjoy when you take them out on the water as well. And we all know that sometimes a, a serious fishing boat has to have some of the compromises. Let's talk about the big Yamaha 300 on the back. Um, you can drive that motor very inefficiently. At 74 kilometres an hour as top speed at 5,500 RPM, you get 700 100 metres per, for every litre of fuel that you burn. But if you're travelling at a regular cruising speed of 3,000 RPM, uh, 41 kilometres an hour, you get 1.6 kilometres for every litre that you burn. And that's comparable to boats that are actually quite, uh, a fair bit smaller than this boat. Testament, I suppose, to the fact that this bar crusher is a reasonably light boat that takes on its weight when it sits stable in the water via that, uh, that floodable keel. Um, there's not really much more I can say about this boat. Troy ran through all of the features early on and each of them has its place and works very well. It's an absolute pleasure of a boat to be in. Um, if you want more information about this boat, you can go to stonescornermarine.com.au and while you're on your computer, like them on Facebook at Stones Corner Marine. Uh, until next time, start saving your money because for just over $160,000, this whole package can be yours.